check the adventure guide because I really want to get the little pet. Teal. I showed this earlier. He's a cute little mouse. And he's got some kind of a neon look to his tail and his ears. He's super cute. So we just need to get a little bit more of the um, traveler points. We could work on completing more quests. We could do dungeon bosses. We could rent some follower dungeons. And we could complete one more world quest. Oh, let's do that. All right. So stolen dragon scale supplies. Anarn Falconer shoulder guards. Well, it's not going to be an upgrade, but it would give us uh, credit for one more. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and go there. We gotta get these supplies. I think they're down below. Anyway, I was showing the mount specials because I think it's pretty cool. Some of the different uh, special animations that different mounts have like that. And so I was showing it and one of my subscribers, who is very in, uh, well informed on things and has a lot of very interesting information that they share, I'm going to shout you out right now, Legion777, um, was telling me in the comments all about how you can drink this... Um, it's like a potion, but if you look at that video and check the comments, you'll see. And then you do the mount special with your um, a cloud serpent mount, then it would show something cool. So maybe we'll do that after we do the quest and see what what it looks like. I love getting the feedback that I get where you guys share information that like expands on something that I've shared and we just learn so much more about the topic and other people read the comments and then they learn from you guys too by doing that so it's really really helpful and it's just a lot of fun to share these things because there's a lot to this game and I don't I feel like I don't even know the half of it I share the things that I think of to share that I enjoy and that sound fun to me or that interests me. But I mean, there's just so many things, little secrets and so many mounts and pets and all kinds of interesting lore and just a lot to this game. And one of my favorite expansions was Legion because they had a lot of cool uh, things like one thing I think I'm pretty sure it was Legion, but I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it was the fishing. The fishing was so fun in Legion, and I remember I found out that there was a legendary fishing pole, and I got it. Do I have it on her? Um, if I do, it would be in my fishing. Let me just see here. Hold on. Fishing. Oh yeah, it is. It's called the Underlight Angler. I'm so glad it's in here because look, now I can show it to you guys. I was with some friends, some guildies, and I was trying to explain this silly um, fishing pole to them. And I was telling them that it's legendary. Of course, it doesn't really do anything now in this expansion, but look at that thing. Crazy. And it was really, it was kind of fun getting it and it had a, a little storyline quest. And, um, I don't know, it made me laugh. But if I take it out and put it in here, I don't think I can equip it anymore. I don't know, let's see. Let's see if I can equip it. I don't know if you can. Yeah, so you can't you can't put it on anymore. Because it immediately goes into uh, the professions. But I wanted to show you guys this R. Equipping it grants the undercurrent ability, allowing you to instantly teleport to the nearest 
fishing node within 100 yards. So that's cool. That was one of the um, one of the legendary spells, but it had like other ones too that you can't access anymore. But you can have a plus 15 fishing skill, so that's cool. Oh, look, it says shift right click to view the artifact. Let's see, shift right click. Oh my gosh, it's letting me show you. This is what it, so it was an artifact power fishing pole. See, these are the different uh, spells. So you had Way of the Flounder, reduce enemy uh, detection range by five yards while fishing. Better luck next time. Grants a chance to catch boot when fishing in the Broken Isles. Yeah, Broken Isles. So this was Legion. Um, Underlight Blessing. Become a fish when underwater, allowing you to breathe water and swim rapidly. Okay, so it was a fish, not a shark. Um, surface Tension. Walk on water. So you just you choose what spells, and I didn't choose these two. Okay. Um, grants a chance to fish up an entire school of cursed kingfish. Yeah, so, and then this one was teleporting to the nearest fishing node. Yeah. And what's the Grants a chance to catch a blood of Sargeras when fishing in the brook. Okay, so yeah. I knew I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> I knew I remembered that. Yeah, it was really fun. So I'm glad I was able to show you that. All right, we can go turn in Aiding the Accord now. So let's go do that. And let me just highlight that one so it should. So I didn't think I did a super on her, but I did, so I get my alts mixed up. All my characters, uh, I get mixed up because I have too many characters. So I do want to show uh, a super bloom, but I won't be able to get the reward that I would if I um, hadn't done it yet. So maybe I'll save that for another day. And go ahead and turn in the quest. So we can basically pick, um, oh wait, do we get all of these? That's right, we get all of them. That's great. Great. All right, so we're going to get our reward here. Let's see what we get. Nothing great. Faint of whisper, Whispers of Dreaming. And some Dragon Isles cash. Oh, we did hit Renown 17, though. At renowned 17 you may acquire two fish themed toys from noon book in this oh fish themed toys cool so oh, we better go check and see if there's any other treasures that we can get now to go see what toys we can get let's go down to uh um iskara Check out the toys. The day just became more interesting. That's like a Buscar Trader's leather arm. Left the appearance of the Tuscar Trader's leather armor set. Oh. Well. Cool. And they got backpacks. Which you can get. Little. Little Audux. Little Audux pets. Is it cloak? backpack. Let's zoom in on that. Fish coming out of it. Backpacks.
cute. Little backpacks. All right, here's a toy. Fisherman's folly, add this toy to your toy box. Place the fisherman's folly basket on the ground to challenge your friends to see who gets the small fry. <laughs> Little interactive game. So we need 10 scale belly mackerels, five tall strider sinews, and 400 dragon isle supplies. Want to get that. And this toy, summon a rubbery fish head at the target location for five minutes. The fish head acts as a target dummy while it persists. That one, you need 5,000 bite piranha, 10 pebbled rock salts, and 400 dragon isle supplies. And we got some manuscripts for our dragons that we could get. We need an awakened frost and 400 dragon owl supplies. So, I mean, I'm sure you can just go get these at the auction house. Well, that's how you get the blue scales for the proto drake. And blue scales for the slither drake. So, and the rest of the stuff is locked because I have to get my. You can also check the world quest to see if there's anything like an upgrade for us. But at this point, I don't believe there is. I guess we could do a couple of world quests while we're floating by here. Because, um, you know, we want to get a little teal. Get teal. those things fast that I didn't need that spell. Alright. So two out of six lightning infused rocks. Saluting them from these guys. That guy. Cool. He's got a pretty color on him. Somebody's car alarm is going off. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Is that a rare? We need one more. Okay, get it. I got a trinket that bonds this guy. Um, it's a trinket I got from doing the rift. Oh, yeah. Paracausal Fragment of Azanoth. Um, your harmful spells and abilities have a chance to manifest a fell elemental by your side for 12 seconds, periodically dealing 12,456 fire damage to your target and increasing your haste by 1,186. Trinket from one of the vendors um, at those rifts that you can do. I did a video on um, things to do at level 70 um, for the casual cozy gamer and the, the rift was one of the things that I showed and I showed vendors and all the different rewards you can get. So if that's something that you're interested or if you're looking for a good trinket, that is a good one to get and that video would be a good one to watch. So I'll link it in the description just that. 
So we finished that. Now we're going to head back over to the tent. So I'm just going to highlight the quest right next to it. All right, turn in these trophies here. This is where we're at, just in case. It took me a second to figure it out, but it's right by that flight path. The north. So I gotta turn in these hunting trophies. Get more reputation that way. I have a lot of them on me. We're, we're, we're now in 18 now. Good. Gonna turn in. Turn them all in. And then, hey doggies. Yeah. Okay. So it's Order Master is right. Map right here where I'm heading in into this tent here that I'm that I'm at. Have you eaten? Okay. Oh well. Wait, oh my gosh, I haven't been here forever. Let's choose a um Bike tail, long snout, hairy head, feathered back. Okay, I'll try the feathered back. Your oh my gosh, look at the toy. I haven't been here in so long that I haven't gotten these rewards. Oh. Alright, so, oh my gosh. Ohuna, Ohuna Perch. Place a perch to beckon a nearby child or Onara of Onara. The Onara will deliver and retrieve mail for 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Oh my gosh. So if you need your mail, befriending wings and wind. That is so cool. It pays to go check the quartermasters. Okay, don't do what I did and like <laughs> neglect to do this. It's this one. Notebook of crafting knowledge. Well, this is going to help me increase my sessions. Notebook of crafting knowledge. Okay, another one. Large Maruk Centaur supply satchel. Cool. All right, because I haven't gone out here to collect my rewards from increasing my renown, so this is why I'm getting all these things. Let's see what they have. We got comfortable pile of pelts way. Rest like a canum wherever you go down. And it, it does require dent, two dense hides and a hundred dragon isle supplies. So you do have to get, um, bring other things for some of this stuff. Of course, I can get these, um, man manuscripts for the Velocidrake. That just costs dragon isle supplies. Might as well get those. I have a lot of dragon isle supplies on. Get them all. Oh, this is cool. You can fast travel. I have that. I have that. You can just return to the camp. Fast. That's all. With helper. You gotta get 20 resilient leather. Five 
Tall Strider, Sinu, Dragon Isle supplies 150. This guy. Oh, it looks kind of like uh, that Mount Lizzie is a pet. I care. Oh, I already got the other one, I guess. Care for the land. It will look at all the pages. Helmet. Different variations. Cosmetics. So, let's... First of all, let's learn all of our for our dragons. We can basically transmog our dragons a bit more now. Okay, and we're gonna increase our dragon isles herbalism knowledge. Increase our Dragon Isle alchemy knowledge. We've got an unspent point in our profession. That's um, batch production, master the art of producing efficiently, gaining plus one. Okay. Botany, study effective gathering methods and techniques, plants, dragon isles, gaining plus as per paint. Go ahead and put our point that we have at. About as much time I'm going to spend on that. Alright, let's right click. Let's see if we get anything good from the large Maruk Centaur supply satchel. Oh, wow, that was really exciting. <laughs> okay, and then we have our toy. So this is called oh Ohuna Perch. Got this from, not sure what level Renown we needed to be. But let's check our toys. Got a three hour cooldown. So when you want to get your mail, you can use this toy. Click on it. Oh, cool. I was just noticing that owl that was sitting on a perch. That is really pretty. That's a cool way to get your mail. <laughs> have the owl delivered. All right, well, we do have some mail. So check it. But that is a really cool toy. I love that. Oh, it does have a three hour cooldown, but it is really cool. Yeah. Gain access to the Maruk's Eagle mail network. The help of the quartermaster. Okay. So you have to be renowned level 14 and you can come out here and get that toy. And that is a really cool toy to know about. And again, if you're not sure where the quartermaster is, because you, maybe you forgot where I'm at on the map, right by the flag there, but I don't know if that flag will be there always, so just kind of note where I'm at here. We are working to get the, uh, the little pet, and I'll probably just do more world quests for, uh, you have the whole month of March to get this.
Yeah, rostrum. All right, saddle, here it is. Lunar Festival. I think that's cool. Really cool. And then... Should be like a a headpiece for him too. Head armor, lunar festival. Yeah, I think that's really. So sometimes these uh, holiday events have some really cool things. I think that's really pretty. Armor from the Lunar Festival event. And I didn't know about it till the last minute, so I barely got it. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. All right, let's do this um, race. I just fly through a <laughs> portal. <laughs> it is quite made with exceptionally faithful. The heck just wings. happened. A perfect day for a race. That was funny. <laughs> Doing so good too. Try this again. Day for a race. Now. Two more world quests. Um, bubbled wildlife. Oh, yeah. These two real quick. Oh, 
traveled wildlife is really fun. Because you're saving the wildlife. But you're not holding still. Can't bubble you if you don't hold still. Okay, let's add to this dream seed real quick. I'll plant one and add some dew drops. Only got 45 seconds left. So let's fly around and see if we can find more of these critters that need to be bubbled and then we'll come back uh, flowers. Anything like that. seeing any more animals that need to be saved. Sometimes you have to hunt around. Oh, there's one. Alright, and that should be done. Let's go check on that flower. See, it's here on the map. See if we get anything good from that. What? Oh, we got a pet. How cute. I think I already have him, but I can get one of my friends. Let's see here. Snoozies. Yeah. He's cute. That's adorable. Okay. Let me, um, let me pull Snoozies out. See what he looks like. Oops. So it's fun to do those, uh, seeds. You plant those seeds because you might get you might never know, you might get a pet. So this one here is Snoozies, which I already have. So I'll just give this other one that I got, so cute, to one of my friends. And um, I think they let me do that. I think I have to put him in a his soul bound this way, but if I can say don't let you share, um, if I can put it in a cage yeah yeah so now uh, I can if my sister has him so now he's right here and I can give him just let's check our little purses here oh we got some um, manuscripts So let's just, um, another thing I'd like to do today, if there's time, is I would like to go tame a new pet. So I'll talk to you about that a little bit more as we continue the journey today. And I'm going to shout out to Keone or, Keone or Raven, um, another awesome subscriber who suggested this really cool looking um, bird. It's a spirit, spirit owl. So we're going to do that. And... Right now, I'm going to, I need to go to the bank, um, because I want to check, or not the bank, I want to go to the auction house. So, um, I want to get this thing that my awesome subscriber, Elysian777, told me about. So, let's just go ahead and Earth to my garrison. One of the cool things about having my garrison that I like is that I have an auction house in it. And I did a video showing when I did get the auction house in it. It's not really a guide though. It was more, I was just kind of trying to get the auction house one day and I just recorded it. So I don't know how helpful it is, but I ended up buying a lot of the parts because it was kind of a grind and I just wasn't feeling like doing that grind. But, um, so the auction house is right over here. It's part of your trading post. And I believe you just have to get your trading post up to level two and then you'll get a quest and it'll be this auctioneer guy and he'll be like, um, deactivated. Like he's, he needs repairs. And so 
final quest. And you get the pieces and the parts and all that. It could be a little bit expensive too because I bought a lot of the parts auction house. But anyway, so let's go ahead and check, see what we need. I have to pull that video up. I'm, I'm going to pull it up on my phone. So let me just do that really quickly here. And one of the great things about um, my channel is that we can comment. Um, I can get comments from everyone and we can we can learn from each other and I love that. So um, it was a video that I did about the different mount specials because your mounts can do really cool looking animations. When you type uh, forward slash mount special and hit enter, so I thought it would be fun to do a little video showing that so that if there's people out there that don't know about it, you know, it's a fun little thing to do. Anyway, Deep Seed Oil Potion. Um, it says right when you do Mount Special on a Cloud Serpent and it's rearing back, it's pretty spectacular. So now I'm curious and so maybe we can get some Deep Stone Oil Potion. So let's look for that. Well, thank you for that awesome comment, Elysian777. Deep Stone Oil. And there it is. You can buy one. All right. Let's see what it does. Um, gotta go get the mail. Mount out, and then we need to get our drink, our potion. Um, here it is. So, I'm going to put my pets away. Because I don't want them to interfere with seeing it, the animation. And then we're gonna we have to get out a cloud circle. Oh. A cloud circle. Undering cloud circle. Alright, let's try this one. As you hit a deep seed oil potion right when you do a mount special. Okay, let's see if I can do the timing though. I don't know. I'm here. Put this on my bar. Got there for now. And let's. All right. All right. We're gonna take the potion. Right when we hit Mount Special, the Mount Special down. Actually, put the potion in a numbered slot. No. I take a potion right when you do a Mount Special. Okay, hit two, trigger the potion, and then I'm going to hit the Mount Special. Same time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it makes you stiff. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> he didn't get to do his mount special though. That's the only bad thing because I, I might have done it. Unable to move or act. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got to do this again now that I understand what it says. Okay, back. Oh, shoot, I accidentally ate it. <laughs> That's so cool, though. It freezes you. All right, let me get down off the... Okay, that's the thing is that I, I put it in a spot 
that you can only access. Down. Okay, let's get that cloud serpent out again. Alright, let's see what the mount special is first that the cloud serpent does. And then we'll do the potion. Let's do it on this. Okay. Let's see what his mount special is. Oh, that's cool. It roars. Do all of them do that? Let's check. Let's try the blue one. Oh yeah, he does roar. Okay, ready? This back in. <laughs> oh my god. Frozen while he is roaring. It's like a statue. That's awesome. Let's try it on another mount. How about um, the Tangled Dreamweaver? All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Throws it. <laughs> That's great. That is cool. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's great. I love it. Great little uh, fun tidbit there from awesome subscriber, Seb is, uh, Elysian777. Thank you for sharing that with us. That was really cool. I love learning new things like that about this game. Just fun little silly things that, you know, you discover. Pretty cool. Yeah, this Tangled uh, Dreamweaver has one of the coolest mount specials, I think. Anyway, if you didn't see the video about how to do the mount special and make a macro, I actually didn't show you how to make a macro in it because I have another video I did where I show you how to make a macro. And I did put that video in the description of the video I did about sharing the mount specials. But all you have to do is, is open up your uh, chat window, type forward slash, Mount special, all one word, and you can get your mounts to do really cool animation. Love that one. But anyway, uh, you can make a macro for it just like you can anything. So now let's go ahead and I want to go to um, I want to go to Fellwood and get a. We're gonna do world quests, don't worry. I know I said I was gonna do world quests today, and I am, because I do wanna get that cute little uh, teal pet. But another shout out to Raven, uh, uh, another awesome subscriber about, I think his name's Ol Olum the Wise. He's a spirit owl and really cool looking. So if we go to Feralus, Azeroth, and I mean, Fellwood, not. Fellwood's over here, so it's over by Dark Shore. I'll just. Okay. So, you know what? We could just go right over to um, Darnassus and then get to Fellwood. I think that'll be a fast way to do it. So, let's just. Um, let me put my 
action bar back the way it I want it. In my spell fetch spell. Gotta put that back. And I'll bring these potions down just in case I need them later on. I love this uh, garrison, even though I know it's not the greatest home, but I have a music box. And if you listen, I know it's kind of quiet. A full night elf song. Here's the jukebox right here. And it was like a quest um, during the uh, Warlords of Drain where you could get the And then you could click on it and you can pick the songs. And there's all these different songs you can get. I don't know if you guys can hear it very well. Yeah, I'll turn the audio up a tiny bit here. favorite songs. I love how the notes animation is showing. Anyway, you can change the song. I just, I love that one. It's called, um, it's called Night Song. Let's listen to Invincible. time on it but it's pretty cool I mean you can you can play all the different songs you find and there's a lot of different songs I don't even have half of them but I just think it's really cool it to play at your garrison. I'm not even sure if you can find any more these days, but I mean, something to look up. There's always something to look up in this game. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember this music. Yep, I remember that. But anyway, I'm going to put it back to Night Song because I love Night Song. Anyway, back to our little. Yeah, I get so sidetracked. There's so much that really. Um, sidetracks me in this game. Let's turn the music down a little bit now. Okay, let's go ahead and mount up and head over to We're going to go to Stormwind. Mm -hmm. 
Another thing I like about the garrison is that you can, it's another way to get to Stormwind and kind of get around to the old expansion. Really quickly. Um, and I mean, I've said it before, it's like our only home right now, but maybe that'll change. I keep thinking this weird feeling that we are going to be getting a home and I've talked to some other people who feel the same way. So, and I hope they do it right. So I will be so excited. Like, I don't even know. I don't know what I will do if I find out that that's the case. So we're going to take the portal to Garnassus. Stormwind, and I believe it's off of one of the docks down here. I love that we can dragon ride because I can get everywhere so fast. I know some people don't like dragon riding. So portal to Darnassus is right here on the dock here. Okay, and then we're going to go over to um, Bellwood. Now this, this, uh, this owl, it's a spirit owl, and she says it might be a rare. So, and I don't believe I have that mod that you get rares. I need to get that one, but I don't. All right, so we're in Bellwood right now, and... What I think I'll do is I think I can land in the oh, right through. Okay, though. I think I will use uh, a different Let's use our pretty peacock mount that we just got. And it's a new one, so I'm kind of excited about using it. Um, so cute. Okay, let's see. Um, so on my map, he hangs out around this area. We're not that far from where he hangs out. And it's, I think, Ol Olam the Wise, but let's check it out. Can I search it real quick? Om, Om the Wise. Okay, so let's make a macro so that we can find him easier. Um, new. And eyeball. O L O L M. So, forward slash target. Probably just say target ohm. Work, save, pull that down. And then we'll just keep tapping on that as we fly around. See if we can find him. And if we do, we'll target him. We'll see if targeted. Um, the area, because he's around here somewhere. Okay. This bird of prey is a rare hunter tame with light skin. Oh, the wise is level 52. Rare NPC. Reading off of wowhead.com. Uh, he's pretty, and uh, Raven told me about him. So thank you, Raven, for sharing that. Let's see if we can get him today. Okay, we got him. We got him. See, I hit the target. Hit my. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay, let's put a thing on his head. Find him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I lost him. There he is. 
Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> there he is. I can't see him though. Like, where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Ah! <gasps> you killed him! Oh, well, that's what he looks like, guys. Oh, he's a spirit owl. Okay. Seven hours. Okay, so we didn't get him, guys. We were so close. Oh my gosh, so frustrating. But you know what? That'll be something to work on. I should note where I was. I was standing right. He was right here. Map. Right next to this little cave here. Felpaw village area. Right next to this cave. Uh, north. Northwest of the Talon Branch Blade. Right by that cave there. So, we'll have to just keep trying to get him. All right, well, let's go ahead and hearth back to... Um... Interrupt. 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 Ember, honey. Ember. Oh. Watch your step. Interrupt. Interrupt. Watch your step.
Okay, so let's check our adventure guide now. Ooh, we're so close. All right, so we're at 940. We just need 60 more points. Oops. Well, we've got enough to do... Oh, actually... Well, let's see. We can upgrade it again. I wonder if that counts. Have to be different. Oh, it does count. Okay, good. That's good. See if we can max it out. Get it as high as possible. All right, we're out of flight still. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to do it again. Let's just take a look real quick at um, the uh, appearance tab real quick. See if we're getting our pieces. So I need I need the treads and the shoulders still for the super version of this set. And I have eight out of nine on this set color. Emerald Bounty. I like that one too. I like the color. It's a really pretty deep green. So I don't have many pieces on that one. Have four. Um, so that. Quest Rewards. Got all that from the quest. So yeah, those are pretty. Okay, and let's check the Sure, guide. Look at we got teal now. This is great. So we just have to go to the trading post in Stormwind and collect our reward. Well, let's go do that. We can just hearth back to Valdraken and run over to the portal to Stormwind. And I'll be back. Okay, I just went over and collected my reward. More traders tender and should have our pet um, teal. Just click on some of this stuff in here. I'm going to have to go through these bags because they're a mess. Teal. That's not teal. That's maybe it just after you click it, maybe it just shows up in your collection. Pet journal. Look for teal. Huh. Let's click on it again and just see. Doesn't let us see. Did we get teal? Let's see. It doesn't show that we got teal. Um, I know this happened to my sister as well. Collected all rewards. Let's have to put a ticket in. Anyway, I hope that doesn't happen to you. I hope you get teal. Um, you know, I worked hard. You all saw. So hopefully it'll work out. And I'll get him. Um, go ahead and... Put in a ticket.
Monthly trading post reward not awarded after filling the traveler's log. What to do after filling the traveler's log? Bar you did not receive this month's trading bonus. Our developers have fixed issue the issue that caused our causing this. So encounter this. Please complete one additional trading activity, which should generate in the chest containing reward. Okay, one more activity. Change your appearance. <gasps> All right, let's go do that. Go to the barbershop. Our appearance. That. See if this fixes our issue. All right. Um. Take our vines off. Okay. Okay, now let's go back. Well, let's hope this works. And if it does work, then hopefully it'll help anybody else having the issue that I had. Let's see. So now we can interact one more time. Let's make sure we have enough space in our bags. There we go. Yay. That fixed our issue. Good. So if anybody else has that issue, there you go. And I guess it just goes into, oh, there he is. Cool. Let's pull him out and take a look at how cute he is. It's a little mouse. Aw, look at him. There he is. Let's, let's hide our uh, interface for a minute. You can see this cutie. Aw. Cute little mouse companion. Oh, he's adorable. Look at him. Oh, it looks like he's sparkly. Or is that me? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Look at those big blue eyes. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And his little ears. You're so cute, Teal. I need to put my pets away, probably. But, oh, there we go. He's so cute. Look at those cute big ears and the little spots, the little specks on his back. The teal specks. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Hey, I love it. I like how he matches my bears too. Now, I think I have a teal version of this outfit. Um, so before we head out, let's just really quickly see if I have a teal version of this skirt. I think I, yeah, I just bought that. Um, oh yeah, this is Tabard. I like that Tabard. Oh, so cute. And my beautiful butterfly wings. That was a toy that I got in, um, it was in the Legion expansion. I made a macro for it. So that I could attach it to one of my spells. Let's see. It's um, Sparkle Wings. Boy called Sparkle Wings. Interested in getting those wings. Show off your inner fairy with a pair of Sparkle Wings. What I love about this toy is that. It's only a three minute cooldown, so you can have them, you can be wearing them a lot. That's why I attached them to my one of my spells. I actually attached it to my Hunter's Mark, along with the Prismatic Bobble, which uh, makes you have a rainbow coming after you, following behind you. Prismatic. So if you ever notice that I have um, a rainbow trailing off of me sometimes too, it's because I attached um, those two toys to my hunter's mark and made this macro 
and replaced my hunter's mark um, with this macro it's down in my spell. So now whenever I use hunter's mark, um, it triggers all of those things. Anyway, I hope this was an enjoyable video and if you had issues getting the toy, now you know what to do. So I'm glad that um, I was able to figure that out by just, a lot of times when you go to put a ticket in, you can just research the topic and you can resolve your issue because other people have had that issue. So it's always worth checking what, what they say. And having said that, let's go ahead and end today's session. But I had so much fun. It was a lot of um, doing a variety of things, which is always an enjoyable, fun time in World of Warcraft. And like always, let us know what you're working on. What are you excited about in World of Warcraft? And I hope you're enjoying whatever games you're playing. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you again for anyone who likes, comments, and shares the video. And just for watching. 